this video I will talk about entities, locations and assets in Artesy Draft. Entities can be nearly everything. Characters, items, objects, basically everything that acts or can be interacted with. So let's create a new entity. Double click on an entity to open its property sheet. This is the entity's Facebook profile so to speak. In the upper left you can set its avatar image. This image represents the entity throughout Artesy Draft. It's also possible to color entities to better distinguish them when used in dialogues. Besides the general description field, you can select a template which provides further fields to flesh out your entity. If the available templates don't suit your specific demands, you can create your own templates. This is explained in the tutorial video for custom templates. But a good story or game does not only need credible characters, but also interesting locations. The integrated location editor allows detailed planning of your environments. It's helpful to add a background image to have an underlying map of the location. Just drag and drop the image onto the location. To edit the background map, open the location's property sheet. Back in the location editor, you can draw zones, path and mark specific spots. Zones can be rectangular, circular or custom shaped. For instance, you can use them to mark trigger areas in your location. It's possible to edit a zone's shape. Double click the zone to start editing. Now you can move every single drag handle. You can add handles by holding down control and left click. Same applies to editing path. Spots can, for example, be used to display spawn points, but basically any point of interest. The location editor can also be used to position entities, flow fragments or dialogues. Thereby you can easily visualize where certain characters are located or where events of your story shall happen. We already used assets for entities, locations and to beautify the flow. But to include assets into Artesy Draft, you first have to import them. Navigate to the Assets section and click on Import Assets. Now choose the files you want to use in your project and click Open. As soon as the import is finished, you can use the assets everywhere in Artesy Draft via simple drag and drop.